we're conducting a field trial to try and better understand microbial dynamics in an agricultural environment. Specifically, we're growing lettuce here, but this could be applicable to any kind of fresh produce crop that is using grow crop production. What we're interested in is really trying to understand how contamination um, with foodborne pathogens might come into the field and therefore cause a risk for food safety concerns. So don't sample this one today, sample this one. The commonest type of contamination in this kind of setting would be something like salmonella or um, pathogenic E. coli. We're particularly interested in wildlife intrusion. Wildlife is one of the biggest problems that growers face. The FDA recommends that before harvest in an open environment that the growers scout the field to look for evidence of wildlife intrusion. So that could be, for example, finding feces or scat in the field. If they do find evidence of that, then growers are supposed to come up with an adequate distance um, which they would consider as a no harvest buffer zone. So we're trying to collect data to see, well, what would be this adequate distance? The whole experiment is based on us depositing manure as if an animal had intruded and then seeing how far microbes might spread from that manure. We actually spike the manure with our own E. coli that we can trace. We are also interested in looking at how the whole microbiome might be affected by, for example, a deposition of fecal material in the field. Today we came back to relocate where the feces were placed. We had them marked with flags. The grad students are sampling the lettuce at 30 centimeter intervals away from that point source. And so we'll go back to the lab and process them for E. coli. We will wash the leaves and collect the bacteria that are present. We will extract DNA and do much genomics on that sample so that we can see whether there were any shifts in the lettuce microbiome in response to the proximity to this fecal material that was deposited in the field. So it's not just looking at foodborne pathogens. We're interested in looking at different ground covers. In row cropping, it's very common to put down some kind of ground cover. The commonest one is to use conventional plastic film that gets rolled back up after the crop has been harvested. One of them is biodegradable plastic, which doesn't get rolled up. It gets degraded into the soil. We'll be coming back out to see how the ground covers impact the microbiome as the plant is developing. There are a lot of beneficial microbes that are present in soil that, that interact with roots, that roots get colonized with, and we call these plant growths promoting rhizobacteria or PGPR, and they have multiple beneficial impacts on the plant. They typically will increase uh, plant growth, make the plants um, more resistant to plant pathogens, and so we're interested in seeing whether these beneficial microbes impact the plant in a way that also benefits food safety. So do, do the plants become um, less favorable, for example, for the colonization of human pathogens. We're really excited to be part of the Microbiome Center because we come from the agricultural side, plants specifically, and so we hope to bring this other element to One Health, which is growing food. Although they are plants, they are very much connected with the wildlife, the humans that consume them, the wildlife that might interact with them. The health of a crop is very much connected with the environment, which of course is part of One Health. We're one microbiome center dedicated to one health.